Imagine if you could take your best person or your top five people and just replicate what they do. How much more successful you'd be as an organization. The question is, are you living it? Are your people, your team members, you as owners and managers and operators, are you living it consistently? You have an opportunity to change this. It is ridiculous that we just accept that it's okay, people are just not happy. There's nothing we can do about it. Because that's what I discovered is there's a process for actually creating a change in behavior. We're rationing out praise at work like there's going to be a shortage of it when we could be replicating what our best people are doing. You have an incredible opportunity to not let this engagement crisis sabotage your business. So you're in this boat race. This is what's happening in your competitors' boats. Three people are paddling like hell. Four people are in the middle of the boat. They're just kind of taking in the scenery. And then there's three people in the boat that are trying to sink it. <laughs> Do you see now why you're winning that race? Give the person next to you, literally give yourselves a high five. That feels good, doesn't it? Doesn't that feel good? Like, and, and all you did, you didn't really do anything yet. All you did was admit that you could, <laughs> potentially. Go ahead and sit down. How many of you, when I asked the question, what creates motivation at work, thought about money? If you're focusing on money, if your people are focusing on money, you've got bigger cultural challenges that you need to address. You'll be taking a huge step towards being an even more effective and trusted leader in taking your organization on this journey to achieve brand integrity, actually be who you say you are. Folks, it's been an honor and a privilege. Thank you so much for having me back.